Welcome to the chain rule. I've drawn a little figure here to illustrate how we can calculate the derivative d by dx of f of g of x and the diagrams look a little bit strange but let me explain. g of x is a function of x and I'm going to draw in a curve it's kind of jiggly a smooth curve like that. Now for a given point x indicated by that dotted line, you could call it if you like x0, that creates a function g. The value of g at that point of course is g of x at the value x0. Now what we do is we carry it on over here and then this axis is the g of x axis associated with each g of x. In this case, this would be, of course, g of x zero. It's the same as that point right there. Associated with g of x zero is a function f of g of x zero. So let's try to draw that in as a smooth curve. And the idea is if x naught wiggles around a bit, then g of x naught is going to wiggle around, and then f at the corresponding point will be wiggling around. So we can use this graphical representation to calculate the derivative of f of g of x with respect to x. Well, these are kind of complicated functions. I don't know what they are, but near x naught, we can draw the tangent given by this red blob here and then we can write the equation of the tangent line for g as g of x is equal to mx plus b. Just a straight line. So we know that right there we can approximate g by this straight line. Now g of x carries over here and we can do the same for f of g of x and it re is represented by this straight line. So the representation of f is a straight line and g is n times g of x plus c. This is just like mx plus b. So what we can do is then we can associate this value of g at this point and put it in here. So the idea is that we can actually substitute this g into there. So that's what f of g of x is at this point if we're near that point. We don't even have to worry about the curved line. It's a straight line. Now what is m? m is the slope of the tangent line. So m is just dg by dx evaluated at the point x naught. And the same for f. What's n? Well, n is the instantaneous slope of f with respect to g. It's the slope of the tangent. So n, let's write that down, n equals df dg. And it's evaluated about the point g of x naught. Well, what's, what do we do next? Well, we actually do the substitution. So, near the point x naught, we have that f of g of x equals n equals sign n times g of x. But we know what that is. That's equal to m x plus b. So that's the, the first part here. Now we have to add c. Now you can see that f of g of x near the point x naught in terms of the dependency on x is n times m. If I differentiate this with respect to x I just get n m. So that's how f of g changes of g of x changes with x. So that's equal to, let's write it up here, n m. 
which is equal to n df dg dg dx. And why do we need the chain rule? Perhaps we should have started out with that right at the beginning. We need the chain rule because we want to know how waves behave. And we'll see in today's class and in the future classes that this result is very important and has a simple geometrical interpretation.